What's good, YouTube? This is Mr. Purple Zero back with another video to bring some insight, to bring some context, some story, some background information. Let's get into it. Two time all defensive first team NBA. Two time. Two time all defensive second team NBA. All NBA, pardon me, NBA steals leader. 2019. Just to give you a little insight, that's the kind of person that we're dealing with. That's the caliber of the man that we're dealing with. We're talking about a defensive specialist, a person with high basketball IQ. Not just high basketball IQ, high basketball defensive IQ. When we're talking about Paul right here. So when we watch this clip right now and we get to this footage, you're going to understand why I'm confused. And why half the world was confused and OKC fans were confused when we have a defensive specialist. We're not talking about some Joe Schmo off the streets. We're not talking about Mac McClung or anybody from China or anybody bozos that's playing defense out there on the court. We're talking about a defensive specialist. Not only is he a defensive specialist, we are talking about a pro NBA player with high basketball IQ. That's who we're talking about when we talk about Paul. That's who we're talking about. Let's get to the footage. Stop the tape. Here's what I'm trying to understand. As a basketball player in the NBA and as an NBA coach, you don't go out into a game without game planning for your opponent. You don't go out into a regular season game without game planning for your opponent. Let's up the ante. NBA playoffs. NBA playoffs. You don't go into an NBA playoff game without game planning for your opponent. Now let's just talk facts. Paul George, an all-star caliber player in the NBA. Damian Lillard, all-star caliber player in the NBA. There's not a single player, there's not a single coach, there's not a single fan that don't know Damian Lillard's NBA game. There's not a single person on this planet that doesn't know Damian Lillard likes to pull from the logo. Damian Lillard likes to pull from across the logo. As soon as he steps over the half-court line, he can pull it. That's who we're dealing with when we talk about Damian Lillard. But for some reason, that night, that day, Paul George forgot who he was guarding. Paul George forgot who he was guarding. You got me standing up now. Damian Lillard is a marksman. We're talking about upper body strength and lights out shooting. As soon as he gets over that half court line, you have to pick him up. You have to pick him up. We're not saying that you can guard him or stay in front of him, but you have to pick him up. Now here's the scenario. There's 10 seconds on the clock as you saw, and we're gonna run the footage back. There's 10 seconds on the clock. 10 seconds on the clock, Damian Lillard is damn near at half court. You saw the footage, he's damn near at half court. There's no way, there's no way that he's going to get to the rim or he's going to the rim. Because why? We know Damian Lillard. We did our homework. We did our background information. If he's at half court, sizing you up, damn near. There's a clock on this side of the court and there's a clock right behind me. This clock is for Lillard. This clock is for me. So Damian Lillard is sizing me up. Dribble, dribble, dribble. There's no picks coming. There's no screens coming. It's me and you one-on-one. -on -one. So if I got basketball IQ and I'm as smart as Paul George and I know what I'm doing, why the hell am I 10 feet off of you? Why am I 10 feet off of you if you're Damian Lillard? You got a ratchet. You pull as soon as you cross over the half-court line. You can pull from anywhere, damn near the logo. Why am I 10 feet away from you? You see, the smart player, the smart basketball player will say, you know what? 
If there's 30 seconds on the clock, that's a whole different story. That's a whole different scenario. He could blow by me. He could cross me. He could still pull up in my face. But that leaves options. When I put the clock at 10 seconds, the options are limited. Now we got to deal with the player. Know your player. It's Damian Lillard. There's 10 seconds on the clock. I'm not playing defense like this. I'm not doing that and giving him that much room to form up his shot. I'm up in his chest. You have to get in his chest, make him move around because of the clock. The clock is your friend and it's my, it's my friend and it's your friend. It was Lillard's friend. So there's no reason why I'm 10 foot away to give him an open opportunity to pull up in my grill. And when he's pulling, I can only do that. I can only do that. That's stupid defense. You can't tell me that's small defense. Pull up the footage. Pull up the footage. Let's put up the footage. Since I'm chatting. Since I'm chatting. Maybe you can see if I'm bugging. We're going to run it right back. See if I'm bugging out. Crazy. Hold on. 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 First of all. First of all. First of all. Use the clock and, 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 and make, a, make a move. Press up on this man. Ten feet with Damian Lillard. He could pull right there. Y'all thought that was good defense? Run it back. No screens are coming. There's no picks. Look at the clock. Look at the clock. Press up. This is the worst. This was the worst, the worst defense I've ever seen in NBA playoff history, period. Paul George, you're a sucker for that. That was a sucker move. That was sucker defense. You're too smart for that. Your basketball IQ is too high for that to be playing off 10 feet off of Damian Lillard, a, an extraordinary shooter, a lights out shooter, especially in the clutch, especially in the clutch. And you let him pull up right in your grill and jay you just like that. Because you wanted to be 10 foot off. Instead of pressing up on him and making him take a tough shot, an off-balance shot, or maybe even make in his mind, even though the clock was going down, maybe he would have tried to attempt the rim or he would have done some bullshit-ass floater. But you have to play better defense than that. That was atrocious. Anybody giving that a pass is stupid too. I'm sorry. But I'm not, get, I'm not letting off, and I won't ever let off of that shot because that's crazy to be that bad on defense when you are damn near two-time NBA All-Defensive player Two-time all-defensive second-team player, all-NBA steals leader. Your IQ has got to be up there. So either they was paying you off or there was something else in between that we don't know about because that was suspect defense. Anybody giving that a pass is suspect too, period. 